Hi, and welcome to Nick Whale Motorhomes. I'm Andy, and today I'd like to show you around this brand new 2024 model Canals Boxstar 540 Road 60 Years Edition. It's based on a 2.2 litre Fiat Giacato with a 140 brake horsepower engine and a nine speed automatic gearbox. Now, as you can see, it's in Lanzarote grey, which gives this nicely understated finish against the black graphics and the privacy glass. It doesn't have to try too hard to stand out. The real beauty of this motorhome though is the fact that it's only 5.41 metres in length, which means it can be easily used as a day-to-day -day vehicle as well as a motorhome. And of course, it can be parked on your driveway at home, so you don't need to think about expensive storage charges. In the cab, we have Remis cab lines, driver and passenger airbags, a telephone and tablet holder, cruise control, electric heated mirrors, front electric windows, a Pioneer Navgate DAB Bluetooth media center, and two large cup holders. Now, both captain seats swivel and are height adjustable, giving you plenty of space around the dinette, which has the two extra travel seats. Now, these are great as you can slide them apart for more room, which I'll show you in a second. It also means you can travel with four people, which is excellent for a van conversion, if you're thinking of day trips or using it as a day-to-day -day vehicle. Now, how these split, get this little extra cushion just here. Press up there, you slide apart, pop that down the center. Now again, if you're dining or anything, not just traveling, again, you've got a little bit more space there, far better for your excess passengers. The one thing we haven't gone into yet, but I'm really quite excited about, is this Pioneer heads-up display unit. For anyone who has one of these in your car, you'll know how fantastic it is. Basically, it pops up when you're driving, as the name suggests, and shows your speed. This is great, as it's right in your eye line, meaning you don't have to look down every few seconds. It should help you not end up with a speeding ticket. Heating is supplied via the Truma Combi system, which is a gas and electric unit, which is great if you're wild camping or if you're on site. And of course that lives right here next to the 12 volt control panel. The kitchen is well equipped and everything's within easy reach. We've got two gas hobs. Sink with a cover there to give you more work surface space. Your cupboards and drawers are all soft clothes. We have your electric fridge here, which is nice because of course you can open it from both sides. Over here, again, a little bit more work surface on top, but you also have your wardrobe just in there. Now, when you are preparing a meal, obviously the one thing you're gonna need is a bit of space to actually work on. So we do have an extender just here, and we have another extender just here. Now, the other advantage, of course, is if it's a nice hot day and you don't want the fumes in the van, you can open up the door. But if there are a lot of insects around, We've got a fly screen that goes right the way across your habitation door. Let the outside in. In the washroom, we have a cassette toilet just here. Now this is adjustable so you can get into the most comfortable position. You'll also see down here on the floor, we have two plug holes. Again, if you've had a shower, that's great because obviously it drains down the water far quicker and it doesn't matter if you're on too much of an angle. Storage here, flush for your toilet just there. And of course we have a wash basin. Good size mirror on this side. This is your shower that comes out from your wash base and then just clips onto the wall just here. We we'll also have a good mirror here, which again, if we pop that across, you can see we've got more storage. Now, the other advantage is you do have a window just here that does have a blind, so you can have a bit of privacy. But again, if you're getting rid of the condensation after you've had a shower, it's perfect. The transverse bed is a good size for two adults. Now, while we're in here, you'll see we've also got a skylight just above here. The reading lights, again, these are clever because you've got USBs just in the top of each one. And of course, you've got all your light switches here. Again, more storage just above here as well. Now, the great thing with this bed is it can be lashed upon the one side and the support's taken away. Now, what that in essence gives you once you've taken the slats out the front is a van because this is all open at the back. But then saying that you've got more than ample storage space underneath as it stands. One of the biggest decisions when purchasing a motorhome is the size that you need. This particular vehicle is ideal for two people who like to explore because the footprint isn't much different to that of an estate car and you can pretty much take it anywhere and get to those places that larger motorhomes may struggle to reach. Also, because it's not too big, you can take it off site and be used to explore. So you don't have to think about taking a towing car or bikes. 
add this to the fact that this vehicle can easily be used as a day-to-day -day vehicle, which is the benefit of those extra two travel seats. The great thing about this canal van conversion though is simple. First is the build quality, which is exceptional. Second, it can be driven on a standard driver's license, so you don't need C1. And third, it can easily be stored at home, making sure that you get the most out of it so you can use it pretty much every day. If you would like any further information on this or any other motorhome that we supply here at Nick Whale, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Or why not come and view it for yourselves? It really is worth a view and we look forward to meeting you soon.